In this video, I'm gonna show you how we turned a dated bedroom into a cozy oasis. Hey there, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. You might remember my friend Danielle. She's a local teacher, she has three boys, and Sean and I have renovated her entire basement. Today I wanna to show you how we renovated the final room in this makeover. It's a bedroom for Danielle's son. Special thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna talk about Skillshare in a bit. So if you're wondering how to make a bedroom basement feel cozy, feel special, or you just want some inspo for your next room makeover, I think you're gonna love this transformation. Let's get started. In case you missed the makeovers for the rest of Danielle's basement, I'm gonna link them in the description box below for you to watch next. In the main area, we used shades of white to keep the basement feeling bright, but also used a deep blue and wood tones to add coziness and style. In the bathroom, we used some rustic elements and textures to balance out the white walls and added some black accents to keep the room looking modern. Here's the layout of the basement that I created. Like the rest of the basement, the bedroom is also awkwardly shaped, so it does require a creative layout. So many of you have asked what program I use to create these 3D floor plans and these layouts. I use a program called SketchUp. You can find it at sketchup.com. You can get the free version. It can do pretty much everything you're gonna need it to do. You can also pay for the pro version as well. And here's where Skillshare comes in. Skillshare is an online community with thousands of creative classes that you can try. I first was interested in Skillshare when I wanted to learn flower arranging about four years ago. And then after I took that class, I got hooked. They have so many different classes and all sorts of things from crafts to DIYs to business to social media. So if you love creativity like I do, you're gonna love Skillshare. I've learned to get better at SketchUp and learn to use SketchUp through Skillshare classes. So my personal favorite one that I would recommend is a class by Auka and Gilles Du, and it's called Interior Design Essentials, How to Create a Professional Looking 3D Floor Plan. Taking a class like this will help you get started with SketchUp. It can be a little bit kind of intimidating at first, but I really like this one to kind of get started with the basics and get confident to making your own 3D floor plans. So check out the link in the description box below. The first 1,000 of my viewers to sign up to Skillshare through that link is gonna get a one month free trial to start exploring your creativity. Right now this bedroom is being used mostly as a home office for my husband. Um, we have great plans to turn it into a bedroom for one of our kids as they grow up and get older. Uh, but right now it is mostly a home office slash storage for our kids toys. The things that I dislike about this bedroom is that it is outdated. There is nothing pretty about it and our kids don't want to sleep down here. So in the main room makeover a few weeks ago, we did create a really fantastic office space for Danielle's husband and herself. So we don't need to have the bedroom function as that anymore. It's going to be solely a kid's bedroom now. To begin, Sean is removing all of that dated wallpaper. What I like to do is remove any vinyl layers by hand, and then I told him to spray it with a solution of warm water and fabric softener, let that soak, and then you can pretty much scrape it off. After that, Sean did have to patch quite a few holes in the drywall so we could be ready for paint. I am using a couple Benjamin Moore colors that gifted this paint to Danielle. This one is called Sea Pearl and then I'm using for the accent wall this beautiful dark blue called Blue Note. We use this throughout the rest of the basement as well. So Sean and I are painting this whole room together. He's going to paint all the white parts and I'm painting this angled wall in the Blue Note color. I love a good accent wall in a bedroom to kind of draw the eye to the headboard of the bed. I also really liked this color because it creates a really cozy, moody look, and I think it's perfect for this little boy's room. I'm 
using my favorite Benjamin Moore clean white called Chantilly Lace, using my paint sprayer and painting some gorgeous doors and trim. This was also gifted uh, from Matree and it's from their Option M farmhouse line. Really beautiful and classic for this modern farmhouse style basement. Then I'm cutting all the baseboards and the trim and I'm applying it to the wall with my Brad nailer. Sean installed the doors and they matched the rest of the doors in the rest of the basement. This desk is gonna go in this nook right over here and it's going to be for Danielle's son to do homework, to read. I love the modern industrial look and this was a gift from Ikea as was this bed frame. What I love about this bed frame, it's a nice generous queen size bed. It has very, very simple lines that match the trim work in this space. Plus it has some hidden storage underneath which is so perfect for all sorts of things from clothes to toys. Now I'm taking some picture ledges and installing them over the desk on this side. I think this is a great way to store books or even to use as a display. I found these shelf brackets on Amazon. I've used similar ones before in other makeovers and I'm going to install them on studs in this wall. I'm installing six so that I can float a couple shelves over top. I just grabbed some one by six lumber from the Home Depot and I stained it in this nice dark brown color, placing it on top of the brackets. And then I'm just securing those with some screws. This is gonna be a cute little shelf area for any toys that Danielle's son wants to display. this vision for these built-in nightstands using these half circles and Ikea brackets, but it's just not working out. First of all, these are way too small and I couldn't find bigger ones. And like, it just doesn't look good. It's not big enough for the lamp. I couldn't stain the Ikea brackets because they're shellacked ones. I didn't realize they even had those. So we're gonna scrap this idea and we're gonna go with a plan B. I ended up just using a side table I had on hand. I think it matches the decor in here really well, holds a lamp perfectly, a candle, and stacks of books or anything else that needs to go there. For the window, I couldn't find exactly what I wanted for that either, but I did find these floor length drapes from Ikea. They're the perfect color to make this tone on tone look. By pulling out the bed a little bit, these can go behind the bed, and I feel like it really makes the ceiling look taller. And they're blackout drapes, which is perfect for a bedroom space. So as a reminder, here's what this bedroom looked like before, and here it is now. I think this turned out so cozy looking and really comfortable feeling. I love this bold accent wall. The desk with the shelves on one side, plus the Ikea unit that Danielle already had on hand with the shelves above on the other side, offers storage and it offers function. I styled it with a little bit of blue and faux leather, and I love how this all came together. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this basement bedroom makeover. Let me know what you think of it down in the description box below. I can't wait to share with you the closet in this bedroom soon. We're still waiting for some pieces for that, but I think that's gonna be a great organization inspiration video. So stay tuned for that. And don't forget to check out the link down in the description box below to try one free month of Skillshare. If you like DIY and decor ideas on a budget, I'm gonna leave some more videos that I hope you will enjoy watching next right up here.